My hair is shoulder-length. Nobody can talk to me again. Like, nobody. <laughs> nobody can come and talk to you. Like, I can actually flick my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, KDVAS. Welcome back to the channel today. This video is going to be slightly different from what I normally do on the channel week to week. The first video I did on this channel was actually about hair. Uh, I remember I think I was dyeing my hair black or something like that. Very random, but today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how my hair is going to be transforming through a silk press now i have victoria coming over she's going to be doing it for me because i don't know how to do my hair to save my life my hair is currently natural fussy kinky full and beautiful i just washed and um, conditioned it and put it in a towel just to wait for her to come because i don't know what kind of treatment that she will put in there but if you guys would like to see how my hair goes from this basically to that both beautiful both gorgeous both amazing styles make sure to keep on watching i'll leave all of victoria's links down below in the description if you want to check her out she's based in the uk and i think she travels to your location as well if you wanted her to do that but i'm excited like i've never done a silk press on my hair <laughs> and i'm excited i think she's almost here so we'll welcome her when she arrives and i'll just like show you guys what she does and the finished product as well well victoria is here she's a bit camera shy um <laughs> <laughs> wow your hair is long is it yeah is that where it gets to yeah it's so nice. nice for real look wow that's like my back literally okay okay i'm excited so the first thing she did was to put my hair in sections and before she put it into twist she actually detangled section by section she then went in to add a conditioner which we washed out later on into each twist that she made and after she was done detangling a second time she would put the section into bantu twist can i just say victoria was so patient and so gentle with my hair this was a conditioner that we worked with and I'm going to be linking all products used down below. Now she's just going in here to add some water before adding the conditioner, detangling the hair section by section. And this she did with her fingers because she had this thing of be gentle and be kind with your hair. And I just found that so soothing, so relaxing. And I enjoyed how she just took her time going through each section of the hair before putting it back in a twist and then rolling the twist around to create a bantu knots. She did this for my full head of hair before moving on to the next process. Okay, so Victoria is done putting my hair in Bantu, Bantu knots and according to her, my hair is nice. I have a good curl pattern, I guess. I did not know that until today. <laughs> but uh, what are we going to do next after this? We're going to detangle it with the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. Felicia? That's the name of the brush? Yeah, she made the I don't know who she no. is. She's a celebrity stylist. You must know her. You, when you see, she does um, this famous actor's hair all the time. You know her. Maybe I know her, but maybe yeah, I don't know her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So we're detangling <laughs> after this. Um, I'm excited. We can get started. Ooh. Next up, she's just going in to detangle the hair each section at a time using the Felicia brush. And this we did to remove any knots just to ensure the hair was nice and smooth from the roots all the way to the end. I rarely do this on my hair, so I was very thankful that she actually did this in smaller sections to minimize a breakage on the whole. Now, after she was done detangling, she would always put the hair in twist whenever she was done with each step. And I just realized that this just allowed and gave her time to handle the hair section by section. So, you're, you're wrapping it now in clean film? Yeah. Okay. 
you want to hold it? Yes, please. Just yeah. All right. To clean film. Oh <laughs> wow! I'm going to put on the thing. Yeah. The thing. Be white also. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. This blow dry because the dyson just doesn't behave itself. Okay. Like oh, am I? Am I? Yes, I'm ready. I think oh, I'm okay. ready. I'm ready. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I did just like. Oh, so it's so tight. <laughs> Wear your big girl pants. <laughs> yeah. What's the time? Uh, so it's like 4.25. Four four we leave one for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. It feels really hot though. Like it feels warm because it's yeah. meant to be like steaming the hair. But do I look silly in it? <laughs> <laughs> what a question. Of course you look silly. I can't see. <laughs> Welcome back guys, so we'll now be adding the leave-in conditioner before we add the heat protectant and then we'll start blow drying in for okay. hair. Okay. Now she's just going in to spray the leave-in conditioner all into my damp hair, massage that in and next up she puts the hair in twist and detangled yet again. I think at this point I was like babe, how many times are we detangling? And she was like, you know, some of those knots can be hiding away so we can't be too careful because her thing was she didn't want to have to blow dry my hair and have to encounter any knots and tug that out toughly. So after she was done detangling and combing out with her fingers, she went in to add a heat protector before blow drying my hair in sections. Now because she uses Dyson that already had a comb attached to it, she just did it ever so gently working her way from the top to the bottom. And at this point, when I just looked at how long my hair was, I was like, wow where was this length hiding all these years i was just as surprised as she was and we did it section by section until we had the entire head of hair blow dried and even after blow drying this girl would still put the hair in twist and clip the ends just to ensure that that batch did not interrupt the other ones that she was going to work on so this was a hip protector she used it's called uh Silken Seal by Kara Care and this stuff is going to protect my hair from getting burnt. Look at how much longer this hair is after the dry. Literally. It's like shoulder length. We need a back shot to show them how like long. Guys, <laughs> the camera doesn't even, you have to stand up. Right, okay. Literally. Okay. The guys, That's how long. shrinkage is real. <laughs> so real. It's actually crazy though, wow. Now, we straightened the hair in two rounds. This first time, she worked her way from the roots to the end and she did it in really small sections until she reached the top of my head. Before she started straightening, she did add the heat protector just to ensure that I don't suffer from any heat damage. And I can attest to that because my hair reverted nicely even after this silk press and I didn't see any damage whatsoever. So thank you so much, Victoria. Once we were done doing this stage one pressing and straightening, the hair was already coming together really nicely. Like, look at that length. Length check. So, Victoria has given me a really nice haircut. I've not had one of these in God knows how long. Wow. <laughs> Snoopy show. The back. Show us the back view. Wow. Very, it feels very smooth already. Yeah, I'm even not though, done. Even though you say you're not done, it feels <laughs> very smooth. Now after the first press and the haircut, she went in again a second time to really have the hair nice and silky straight, combing through with a fine tooth comb. And then she added this oil that apparently would help to have the hair nice and smooth and have a bit of shine to it. She just would spray that on each section 
these are all the products that she ended up using i'm going to be linking them down below i forgot to add the hairbrush but that was something else i'm going to leave all links in the description box for anyone who is curious to try it out now we're almost done with straightening the hair a second time she's just going in at the ends towards the front like so making sure that we catch every strand of hair to have it nice and smooth and straight as well now after straightening the hair she actually went in and did something that <laughs> was a bit funny she wrapped the hair around my hair in this manner i don't really know why if anybody knows please let me know in the comment section down below i forgot to ask her but she wrapped it around like this and after securing it nice and sort of in a conish shape she then wrapped it around with cling film making sure to catch every strand of hair inside that cling film sort of enclosure once we had it tucked away like this we then moved on to the next step of the process so now some full air on this side and you're going to like yeah. put that in and let's put on it. With the blow dryer on the cool setting, she's just blowing some cold hair over the cling film over my head just to finish up the process. So this is the hair all done. I'm just amazed by how long. My hair is shoulder length. Nobody can talk to me again. Like nobody. <laughs> nobody can come and talk to you. Like I can actually flick my hair. <laughs> <laughs> My actual hair is not a weevil. Oh, nobody can come and talk to me in here again. Like, you just cannot. Like, um, sorry, what were you saying? You know when girls are talking about this? Yeah. It's like, oh, so, you know when, you know that one time, like, you know, I, I know, right? It's like imaginary flicking, but now it's the real hair. Thank you so much, it's Victoria. Okay. You know that smoothness that you don't feel any, like, like roughness? It just, yeah. like, slides down like butter. Literal <laughs> butter. Mm. Please, oh, nobody come and talk to me anyhow again. <laughs> My hair is shoulder length. Do you hear me? My hair is shoulder length. Shoulder length. Shake <laughs> them. Please, oh. Mm, mm. I beg, when, when are we going? When are we going out? <laughs> when are we going out? <laughs> thank you please all links will be down below Literally. go and book victoria before she's fully booked you're already booked till july have you? yeah by the time this video goes live i cannot promise you there are any more spots but this was amazing you were so patient as well thank like, you like you proper took your time even me I, i'm not that patient with you, so i really appreciate oh, it thank you, thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video this was so much fun to make the full process took about five hours and i am enjoying my hair afterwards huge thanks to victoria for coming over and for dolling me up all links are going to be down below for anyone who wants to check her out or get any of the products that she used but with that being said until our next video have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye